The audio has announced that the aeronautical development establishment shall be representing India in the Eurodrone program. India's Ordnance Parachute Factory in Kanpur has embarked on manufacturing seat ejection parachutes specifically designed for the pilots of Tejas aircraft. JSW Defence has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Telangana government to invest 800 crore rupees for establishing a state-of-the-art facility for manufacturing VBAT unmanned aerial systems. The Indian Air Force holds a significant strategic forest to one advantage over the Pakistan Air Force in terms of its inventory of standoff weapons and precision guided munitions. JM Engine will showcase its indigenous JM Aero engine at the Aero India 2025, that has been specifically designed for the Rustam 2 male UAV. Defence experts have said, that India should also join the 6th generation global combat air programme as an observer, that will allow India to understand the financial and technological challenges of such programmes. Skyroot Aerospace has announced plans to establish a state-of-the-art rocket manufacturing integration and testing facility in Telangana with an investment of 500 crore rupees. Germany's Dysenkrip Marine Systems is developing an interactive defense and attack system for submarines that will be available under Project 75I, which is a guided missile that can engage air threats like anti-submarine helicopters from a submerged submarine. The Indian Army held its annual firepower training exercise Top Chi in Maharashtra, to showcase the strength, precision and adaptability of its artillery units. Indian Navy's P-8I long-range maritime patrol aircraft has arrived in Indonesia for the France-led multination naval exercise La Perouse. In a major development, the DRDO has revealed plans to develop a hypersonic glide vehicle capable of delivering strikes at ranges of up to 15,000 km, potentially placing any target worldwide within India's reach, thus elevating India's strategic capabilities to a global scale. This capability would position India alongside global powers such as the United States, Russia and China, and also shift the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific region and beyond. After terminating its previous partnership with Adani Defence, Saab India has announced that it will collaborate with Dynamatic Technologies for the production of the Gripen fighter jet in India, if it secures the Indian Air Force's MRF-8 tender for 110 fighter jets. This partnership would be contingent on Saab being allowed to establish its own final assembly line in India, as Saab India has decided to take a solo approach under its Indian subsidiary, and lead the entire program independently while integrating with the Indian manufacturing ecosystem. The Indian Air Force is set to recommend a crucial change in the MRFA tender, which involves reducing the scope of the request for proposal, and limiting it to original equipment manufacturers that already meet its stringent operational and technical criteria. By narrowing the focus, the Air Force aims to expedite the procurement of 110 fighter jets. After securing final clearance for procuring a second batch of 100 K9 Vajrasilf propelled howitzers for Ladakh sector, army officials have confirmed plans for a third batch of 100 more K9 Vajra units, that will be ordered after the integration of the second batch. The third batch of 100 units will focus on operational needs along the western borders with Pakistan. Today's Top 3 Comments